Today we have another uh, failed repair attempt cluster from someone that tried and didn't have the proper tools or maybe not the right experience, but for some reason or another it didn't work right when they were done. So already we can tell yeah, they didn't really, uh, when they put the needles back on they were kind of at the point of I don't care anymore because they didn't even try to get it right. Um, let's just go ahead and power it up uh, and see what it does. Okay, and no displays, so that's why it's here. Calibration will be easy to fix. I'll just make sure to set the needles right when I put it back together. Uh, and there's the person's fingerprints right there. I probably can't see it on the camera. But anyways, let's see what we have to work with here. Let's see how butchered it is, if at all. Usually they are. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, I'll get this in camera here. So here is the trouble area for the displays. This is the MOSFET that runs the hot wire and it's definitely not happy. Kind of hard to get that on camera, but it does, yeah, the MOSFET is cracked. They attempted to reflow the solder by just putting a, a ball of solder across two of the leads. It looks like the, the gate, right across the gate, so that could be feeding power into places it doesn't belong. So I am going to double check that gate resistor for sure. There's another ball of solder up on the diode here. Um, and being that this MOSFET's blown, it doesn't matter how well you reflow it, it's not going to work. Um, hmm. Let me just get out my meter here. So the resistor I'm checking uh, this should be a 100 ohm. This is the resistor that feeds the gate of the MOSFET and you usually take abuse when things go bad. It's reading 20k. It's supposed to be a 100 ohm and it's fried. It, and it does show that it got pretty warm. So he was not happy either about the MOSFET blowing up or the ball of solder. One thing or the other blew up that resistor. So it is possible it backfit into the driver chip, but we'll just replace these two parts and see. So. Let's get started on ripping parts off and usually when these MOSFETs get hot they kind of Weld themselves to the foil and they really fight coming off so I'm expecting them to fight with this one, too
and now to test it and see if that's all it needed or to see if maybe the driver chip has blown. Let's power it up here so it'll be untangled. No displays. Looks like I'll be replacing a driver chip. Okay, now for smoke test number two. Let's see if we have displays now with the new driver chip. Just get my power supply hooked up here. And contact. Hey, look at that. We have working displays. Okay, now to put her back together. So, right now on YouTube, there's a popular video of a lady that has another similar 07 plus uh, full-size GM cluster like this. And in her video, she just reflows the MOSFET. And I would say about 25% of the time, that is that could fix the problem um, but most of the time when I get these the MOSFETs are like the one that I pulled um, off of this one where it's just blown there's either a holes blown in it or there's cracks in it most of the time the MOSFET is is toast um, but like in that video that the lady has on YouTube Sometimes it is just a failed solder joint, and sometimes you can get away with just reflowing it. That's probably what happened with this cluster. The guy saw that video on YouTube and thought he would uh, give it a go, but ended up just leaving solder goobers all over it anyways, and, and tried to reflow a MOSFET that had a hole in it. And like I said before, it doesn't matter how good the solder joints are on that MOSFET. If it's blowing, it ain't going to work. Just getting all my flux off the board here. So yeah, when I get these, I always replace the MOSFET, even if it is just a, a failed solder joint or not. But uh, yeah, sometimes, um, like in this case, it took out the uh, 100 ohm resistor, that's for the gate on the MOSFET. 
And like in this case, sometimes all three go. Sometimes the MOSFET, the resistor, and the driver chip go. Now in cases like this when uh, the resistor and the chip need to be replaced, it's not something that, you know, average Joe with a $10 soldering iron is going to be able to pull off. Uh, just to show you the chip here, it's, see if I can get a focus on this, Oop, sorry for moving you there. Uh, it's tiny, I mean, the, the pitch is just, you got to have a microscope to do a chip like this. Yeah, there are uh, four pins on each side. Um, you would be nuts to try to replace this without a hot air station and a microscope. So, um, if you're watching this video because you have one of these uh, clusters with bad displays, um, like I said, there's about a 25% chance you can get away with just refoiling the MOSFET if the solder joints failed. But if the damage is any further, um, just send it off to someone that can do it. Um, otherwise, it just might end up causing irreversible damage if you uh, go at it too much uh, with too much heat with the wrong tools. Calibration back to normal. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.